to our white color, our color A, we're going to go ahead and we're going to join at the corner here. And we are going to single crochet in every single stitch around this opening. So I'm going to join my yarn. And now I'm going to single crochet into every single stitch. But I want to show you a trick here on the corners. Notice I'm not working a split single crochet. I'm just working a single crochet. But I want to show you a trick as I get to this next corner. Now I've worked the last open stitch on this bottom part and now I would be turning and working in the stitch on this side. But when you do that, it naturally leaves a gap. So what you can do is you can single crochet together this gap. So I'm not adding or decreasing any stitches in terms of the stitch count. But what I'm doing is I'm just simply picking up these areas that might create a hole and I'm reducing that hole by doing a single crochet three together is what I'm doing. I picked up a couple places on that corner and then my next stitch just kind of brings those nicely together and I didn't add or decrease. It just reduces the hole. The other option is just to have a hole and you can come back with your needle later and sew that um, hole together. Now I'm going to work back to the beginning of this round. Now as I get back to the beginning for my very last stitch, if I want to, I can also go ahead and reduce that hole that would have been created by single crocheting some uh, loops together here. Now all the way around you will have 44 stitches. We had 22 on the bottom and 22 on the top. So now we're going to go ahead and work at decreasing to create this heel, but we are also going to be working in the round without joining. So go ahead and grab your stitch marker in order to do this. So to start this round, we are going to single crochet two together and then place our stitch marker since it's worked continuously. And then we are going to single crochet into the next nine stitches. And that will be our repeat around. You'll single crochet two together and single crochet into the next nine stitches all the way around till you get back to the first stitch in the round. And now we are ready for round three. And for round three, we are going to just continue to decrease. So we're going to single crochet the first two stitches together place our stitch marker and then single crochet eight and that's our repeat around. And now for round four, we are going to continue decreasing where we single crochet two together in the first two and then we are going to place our stitch marker and then single crochet into the next seven stitches. And that will be our repeat around. And now for round five, we're going to be doing some decreasing again in the same way we have been. So we'll start this round by single crocheting two together and then we will single crochet into the next six and repeat that around. And at the end of round five, you'll have 28 stitches. And now for round six, we will be doing this round by single crocheting two together and then single crocheting into the next five. At the end of round six, you'll have 24 stitches. And now for round seven, we're going to single crochet two together and then single crochet into the next four. And that's our repeat around. And now for this very last round, we have, we have 20 stitches. We are going to single crochet two together all the way around. 
And now that we have 10 stitches left, it's time to fasten off and grab our yarn needle. We can also go ahead and remove our stitch marker. Now to close this opening, we are going to weave our yarn needle through the front loop of all the stitches around, and then we'll be able to pull it closed. So after weaving through the front loops, you can simply pull that closed and then weave in your end. Now the last thing we need to do is add a loop so that we can hang this stocking. Now if you'd like to do an I-cord with either color of yarn, I have a tutorial for that on the in the pattern that's on my blog. You can also add some, you know, some tassels if you want. Just kind of spruce it up a bit. I thought I would try to use a leather strap for this um, top hook. And this is just simply a 3 fourths inch strip of leather and I'm going to cut it and then I'm going to punch some holes so that I can sew it on. I happen to have a leather punch, but I have seen some tutorials online where if you have a really sharp pair of scissors and some patience, you can punch a hook, a hole in this that way. So I'm going to go ahead and cut a length of this so that I can stitch it onto the top of my stocking. Now that I have my leather strip ready with some holes punched in it, I'm going to go ahead and just simply sew this to the side. Now you'll also find that this may pop up, so it's a good idea just to simply tack down your cuff if you're folding it over, and that way it stays in place. And that is it. Now we have this beautiful stocking to display all season long. I really hope that you enjoyed this crochet project. Please hit that subscribe button and come on back for some more fun events and crochet patterns. And I hope you enjoy your holiday season and you enjoy creating this stocking. I'll see you next time.